Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video lecture, we will discuss about various types of lines which are used to prepare engineering drawing. So let's see. So various types of line, outlines which is used to represent visible edge and surface boundaries of the object whenever you are preparing the orthographics view. Uh, right so whatever the uh, surface boundaries or whatever the edge which are visible that edge should be drawn using visible line or outline then next is dimension line dimension line is used to represent the dimension between two points or dimension of the visible edge then extension or projection line extension line or projection line used to project from certain points then hatching or section line so this line are drawn to make this section evident they are continuous thin lines and are drawn at an angle of 45 degree to the main outline of the section uniformly spaced about 1 mm to 2 mm apart then next is leader or pointer lines then border lines margin lines they are continuous thick or wide lines along which the prints are trimmed uh, construction lines this line are drawn or constructing figures they are shown in geometrical drawings only so generally this construction line is an auxiliary line which are used to prepare our main drawing or to prepare our main object so that's why this construction line should always be drawn lighter compared to visible line. Then short break line, then hidden or dotted line. So hidden and dot hidden or dotted line is used to represent a certain age which is hidden in certain views. Then center line. Center line generally used when whenever there is a circular or semicircular entity are there then cutting plane line so cutting plane line are used to cut an object using a plane so to represent that we use cutting plane line now we see one by one the application of all this line and some important types of line for the subject point of view so this is the orthographics view of certain objects right so two objects are there so let's start with the first line so this is the outer boundary of the surface or surface boundary of the objects um, which are drawn using the outline right so this these are the outlines similar way this circle is also uh, visible in front view so that's why this is this should be drawn using visible line then uh, this line is known as a dimension line so dimension line is used to represent dimension between two points and these two lines are known as extension line or projection line dimension line always accompanied with the extension line to represent the dimension of the visible edge then whenever there is a circle there would be it's a, there it's a center line will be there so center line generally represented using this long line short line long line short line long line in this manner similar way this is the vertical center line this center line is also known as line of symmetry so if certain object is symmetric about certain axis we can use this center line to, to represent the line of symmetry then this is called hidden line or dotted line to represent the hidden edge of the object similar way this is also a hidden line since this hole is not visible in front view that's why we have to draw this hole using hidden line again whenever there is a circular object is there its center line would always be drawn so generally center line would be drawn slightly outside of the main object 
so here we have extend our center line a little bit outside the object and this is called a cutting plane line so cutting plane line is nothing but the same as the center line but its ends are little bit darker and uh, direction of cutting plane is represented over here the downside arrow indicates that plane is removing the uh, object above this section so this part of the object would be removed and after that whatever the view available whatever the surfaces whatever the edges which are visible uh, that should be drawn in the top view so this is the sectional top view of the object this is called the section line so section line generally drawn at 45 degree and it would be always a between the visible line so these are the visible line and this inclined 45 degree line is nothing but the section line we should draw the section line on the surfaces where the cutting plane line and the object are in contact right so here it is in contact so here we have drawn section line then uh, this line is called leader line to represent the diameter of the circle or radius of the circle we extend that uh, uh, line outside the object and draw it horizontal and represent diameter in this way so this line is called leader line now uh, coming to this section this component can rotate about this uh, pin or rotate about this axis so uh, the movement of that extreme position of this uh, uh, link is visible using this line so this is called the short break line and this is called the long break line again whenever there is a circle is there its center line would always be there right so long line dot long line dot this is called the locus line so that is nothing but the locus of this circle which is moving about the about this circle so the center of this circle is moving along this direction so that is nothing but locus of the circle and extreme position of this line is indicated by this chain thick line which is nothing but long line then double dot long line double dot long line double dot then this is called the chain thick line this indicates the this surface needs a special treatment while uh, preparing the object right so this is these are the various types of line these are the important lines which we should consider so visible line uh, we should also understand its relative darkness um, um, so visible line should be drawn a little bit darker and a thin line then dimension line projection line and hatching line should be drawn a little bit lighter then uh, center of center line or line of symmetry long line dot long line dot long line then hidden outlines or hidden edges can be drawn uh, using dotted line so darkness of visible line and dotted line should be same then next is cutting plane line so cutting plane line generally drawn using long line dot long line but its end should be little bit darker and the direction of the cutting plane should also mention then this is called the limits of partial section and uh, this way we can represent the long break line so i hope now you you are able to understand the various types of line so here is the exercise for you identify the types of line which are indicated by the alphabets you can write the answer in the comment section if you enjoy this video please do like share and subscribe also press the bell icon to get the latest notification thank you everyone